Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your Pick a Card Oracle message for Wednesday, December the 30th. I'm using the Romance Angels this week. So I would like you to think of a situation or a question that you would like guidance on or answers to, and then pick a card that you are drawn to. Card number one, card number two, and card number three. I will timestamp it in the description box. So if you pick card number two, click on card number two. Uh, the timestamp, it'll take you right to the message. Okay, and for those of you who need extra time, you can pause the video. And uh, when you pick the card that you were drawn to, then you can resume. All right, so for those of you who pick card number one, your message is deception. This card is a loving nudge for you to beware of deception within a relationship. This could involve something mild, such as a run-of-the-mill politeness, where your partner is afraid of offending you by sharing true feelings. Perhaps you're the one wearing the mask because you aren't disclosing something to your partner. Deep down, you know what this card pertains to. The romance angels are trying to protect your heart. Please say this invocation either silently or out loud. Romance angels, I ask that you give me very clear guidance that I can easily notice and understand to reveal the truth about this situation to my conscious awareness. Then notice the trust, the signs, notice the trust, the signs that follow. This card is also a reminder to you about the importance of being genuine with your partner. Although discussing your true feelings may be uncomfortable, it will improve your relationship on many levels. All right, so for those of you who pick card number two, your message is make the effort. You receive this card because some, some action steps on your part are necessary in order for your prayers about your love life to be answered. The angels have opened the door for you, and now it's time for you to walk through them. The first thing that comes to mind with respect to taking action is a good starting place for you. When you ask for spiritual help, you always receive it. Often this help comes in the form of intuitive guidance, which consists of repetitive feelings and thoughts. You get the sense that you should do this or that. You receive this card as a nudge to actually take the action. You'll then receive the next piece of the puzzle, meaning another intuitive message about what to do. If you like, you can ask the angels to give you the motivation, courage, time and energy to take these steps. Know that each one brings you closer upon the pathway to great love. And for those of you who pick card number three, your message is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. Path. This card reveals that religion and spirituality are subtle but important factors in your love life. Perhaps you're looking for a relationship with a partner who shares your spiritual beliefs. If so, this card comes to you as guidance to seek your partner, seek your new partner at the church, temple, or meeting place associated with your faith. If you're currently with a partner who isn't spiritually minded or those beliefs differ market, markedly from your own, you may feel dissatisfied. You may also be influenced by family tradition that expect you to marry within your own culture or religion. The Romance Angels are helping you address this issue, and they ask you to remain true to yourself during the process. Decide which factors you will and won't accept in your relationship and what your priorities are for your partner. For instance, it's possible that your love interest may live the spiritual principles that you find important, for example, forgiveness, charity, kindness, and the like, without having the same religious affiliation you do. The angels remind you that your partner is a holy child of God. Everyone is spiritual in truth because everyone is spirit. Although it's not up to you to change your partner to match your spiritual path, your affirmations, prayers, and visualizations can have a positive influence on both of you and your relationship. All right, everyone. Have a great Wednesday. Bye-bye.